We're moving into lower body series for flat back. We're going to begin with some hamstring flexibility. Grab your heaviest TheraBand and your anti-burst ball. You're gonna place the anti-burst ball under your sacrum and you're gonna use this heaviest TheraBand to begin with your dominant leg and you're gonna lift that leg up, placing the band around the arch of the foot. We're elevating the pelvis for more space for the lumbar. I just wanna make sure that we're not crunching the low back by lying flat on the floor. So with the pelvis elevated, there's room for you to reach the tailbone towards the feet, arching the low back. So lying on our backs, ball under the sacrum, dominant leg up, we put the band, this heaviest band around the arch of the foot, and we take our hamstring stretch here, dorsiflexing the foot. Inhale and exhale, moving the leg towards you a little bit more without rounding your low back. So you need to be able to keep extension in the pelvis. So no rounding the pelvis on the ball, tip it down towards the wall in front of you. And hear your breath, inhaling and exhaling. We'll be here for another 20 seconds. Hamstrings can be a major issue with flat back. We wanna open them up before we begin any strength work for the front of the legs, those hip flexors and the quadriceps. Those are our focus areas for strength, but we're gonna be spending a good amount of time with flexibility before we begin any strength. Go ahead and switch sides, taking your time, slowly lowering the leg. Once it's down, then the other leg can come up. So you have the challenge of balance being here on the ball, having to use and recruit the lower pelvic floor. So use this as a chance to initiate movement from your center so that the limbs don't have so much pressure and weight to bear. Dorsiflex your foot, getting a nice stretch for your calf complex as well. And keep checking in with your pelvis. Is it rounding? Can you get a little more lumbar extension? Watch out for the shoulders elevating up or pulling forward because of the band you're holding. So you can hold the band underhand so it's a little more biceps engaged instead of pulling and recruiting the upper shoulder that's already overactive. Breathe here and hear your exhales. One more breath. Non-dominant side doesn't need as long. Let's move to a piriformis stretch. So I'm gonna have you now place the ball under your head. Due to flexibility issues, this is a better position because you won't strain your neck. We're gonna cross our dominant leg, dorsiflexing the foot over our non-dominant thigh, coming into a pretzel-like stretch, reaching through the hole to grab our hamstring of the bottom leg and holding it here. So thread the hands through, grabbing the hamstring and pulling it towards you. Use the elbow, the same elbow as the leg that's on top to open up that thigh. So to push it out and away from you, getting a little more opening in that glute med area and breathe here. Four more inhales and exhales. We're gonna get deep into our glute med and the IT band attachment in our standing series. So I wanna start opening up those hips now so they're prepared for the balance work we're gonna do. Go ahead and switch sides. Setting up on the other side, dorsiflexing your foot, always working on the, the footwork as well, reaching for that hamstring, Watching the low back here, try to find some lumbar extension. We're on the floor now. Is your low back rounding? Can you take one hand and see if there's some space you can create between the floor and the low back by tipping the tailbone forward? Pull the abs in to do this. Try to initiate that pelvic movement from your lower pelvic floor, pulling in and up. Hold it here. Deep breathing. You're doing great. I know how hard it is to get deep into these stretches and to relax. It could be harder than the strength work stretching. So just stay with your breath. 
and know that you're doing good work for your body. You're going to feel great afterwards. All right, let's go ahead and come out of that pretzel stretch. We're going to um, grab the anti-burst ball now from under the head, and I'd like you to hug your dominant knee into your chest and take it across the body, placing it on the ball to your side, coming into a supine twist. So we're twisting, we're gonna use the ball. If, if our knee can't touch the floor, we're gonna use the ball on the floor. Turn your head away from the, the leg that's twisted across the body, just for a neck stretch here. Breathing in, again, we're getting into the low back, really tight area for flat back. Flexibility issues are the biggest problem with flat back posture. So we spend more time on flexibility than strength, but we spend very focused time on the areas that you are weak so that you don't injure yourself. And we balance out that flexibility. Um, those, we balance the body out. Go ahead from here and exhale as you make your way by bracing your abs to the other side, coming into that twist. As you're breathing, breathe here, plug the shoulders down, turning the head away from the leg that's twisted across the body. You've placed the knee, you've placed the knee on the ball and you're breathing here. Inhale and exhale to go a little deeper. Watch out for the low back here. Create a little extension, reaching the pelvis towards the feet, pulling the core in. You can breathe laterally into the rib cage, opening up the lats here on the side that's towards the sky. Breathe in and exhale. One more breath here, inhale. And slowly make your way out of that stretch. We're gonna roll our IT band now. Begin with your dominant leg. You'll be in a side plank, getting into that outer hip and thigh, forearm down, try to not collapse into the forearm that's down. Breathe into it. So it's an upper body workout too here as you move forward and back. You're gonna use your ab strength, your lat strength. So active stretching here, releasing our, our IT band. So breathe into that. We'll be here for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. Make sure that you're not dropping your head. Keep your head up on your spine. Pull the abs in to support the low back. Go ahead and switch sides, setting up on the other side. If you need longer on your dominant side, feel free to stay there. But if you feel ready to switch, go ahead and switch. So we're breathing, we're moving with the breath. You can rock forward and back. You can walk forward and back. You can twist the torso to get into fascia. Find the tight spots, work your way into them, and hear your breath. Just one more breath here. And we're gonna make our way up to standing. We're gonna do a little hip flexor and quad work. You're going to stand on your foam roller. We're gonna bring it by a wall. You've tied, I'd like you to tie your lightest TheraBand a quarter of the way into it and have that excess of the band farthest away from the wall. So the circular part is right by the wall and you're gonna bring your lightest loop band around your ankles. I don't have flat back posture, so I'm not gonna put the loop band on, but it looks like this. You put it on the ankles and you're gonna keep it on. And we're gonna come over to the wall. You're gonna take the lightest TheraBand into your outside hand and bring your inside hand to the wall. Stepping onto the roller, feet hip distance apart, soft bend in the knees. You're gonna take your inside leg, dorsiflexing it up to knee flexion. Take your outside arm up to shoulder flexion into a press. Hold it here. Keep your chin up. Gaze forward, dorsiflex the lifted leg. Lower the leg slowly and then pick it back up on an inhale and lower it down on your exhale. 
Pick it up on the inhale. Lower it down on the exhale. Stay connected to your core. Use your core to lift that leg. Good. Find a little extension of the pelvis, but soften the supporting knee before you do, the, do so. Plug your shoulders down. Four more. Four. And three. Hear your breath. Two more. Two. And last one. And one. Let's slowly make our way off of the roller, coming to the other side. Careful getting up on your non-dominant side. Keep your knees soft. And from here, focus up. Inside leg is our working leg. Outside arm is loaded. Lifting that leg up on your inhale, lowering it on your exhale. Lift on the inhale and lower on the exhale. Four more, four. And three. Keep that going, two. And last one, and one. Slowly make your way off. Good job. 